Hello and welcome to lesson three. We're going to take a look at the expression, the comparer and the counter today. The expression evaluates a mathematical expression. So as you can see in the properties, we have a box to type in. For the mathematical expression, we have to type in our equation. As an example, let's say a plus b apply and we can see that these properties are updated 5 plus 4 apply and we get a result of 9 we can do a minus b I'll give us 1 and we got other operators such as times divide to the power of, which is the up symbol. Like you see, we've got other mathematical functions such as sine, say sine of a, and we get that value. We can use set values like pi, so if you want to get the area of a circle, so we go pi times by r to the power of 2. We apply it and we get the input of r, so let's say r is 5, we can get the area of a circle with radius 5. I'll put more information down in the description. The next one we're going to look at is the comparer. So this compares property A with property B, depending on this operator. So at the minute, value A, if value A equals value B, the output should turn on. But now we have to update it. The output is currently off for some reason. We would just update value a to 1 and then back to 0 we see that value a is 0 and value b is 0 so the output is on. We can change the operator using this drop down list so not equals to greater than etc so let's try greater than so this value a is 5 which is greater than b the output turns on Next one we're going to look at is the counter. The counter just counts if we set a signal to the increase, it increases. If we pause the decrease, it decreases. And if we reset, it resets the count. We could use this with the comparer that we just looked at. So let's say when we count to 5, we want to reset this counter. So we can say if the count is, click on the comparer and operator. So if the count is 5, it's greater than or equal to value B. which is currently zero, we want to reset, but we don't want to reset it at zero, we want to reset it at five. Apply, so value B is five, and the count goes back to zero. So let's try this, so increase, one, two, three, four, five. Output turns on, reset, count back to zero. Now, you notice down here, that the we get an error. The value a is set twice in the same context. So you see that it's cyclic, which it's not happy about. To fix this, we right click on the signal, the connection. Properties allow cyclic binding. We do this with this and 
if we do it again, we'll see that it's complaining about the reset now because it's also cyclic. So we go properties, our cyclic connection. Now, if we try it again, it doesn't complain anymore. That's it for today. In the next video, I'll go over the repeater, the timer, and the multi-timer. Thank you for watching. See you next time.